Hey everyone, Sam here. And in this video, I want to show you how you can set up something called named markers with your Lottie animations. So named markers allows you to set up a way to easily recognize different parts of your Lottie animations and then encode play these parts. And so usually if you wanted to play a segment of your animation, you would use the play segments method and pass in an array of frames. So here it's looping from frame zero to 23. And with name markers, you can replace that with the name of the segment you want to play. And so the bird segment. And so now if I have named markers set up in my animation, I can just pass the string bird and it's going to loop this segment. And this has to be set up in After Effects. And then I will show you how to get it up in the code. So let's get started inside of After Effects. So here we have our animation. And we've got three distinct parts, the bird, the explosion, and the feathers. So let's split these up into different segments. So in your animation, you're gonna wanna go over here onto the right and click this button, which will create a market view. So here I'm going to start with 20 and then just drag it out for the length of the segment. So about there. And then I'm going to go back into it. So we've got the duration and the important part where we define our name for our segment is in this comment section. So you're going to open up some brackets and inside of double quotes, you're going to put name and then give it a name. So here we're going to put bird. So there we go, name and bird. And just for the sake of clarity, I'm just going to give it a nice color. So that's our first one done. Let's do the explosion. Double click, uh, the duration is about 15 frames, I think. Okay, it's a bit less. Pull that back. Give it a color and the comment. Let's fill it out. Its name will be explosion. Explosion. There we go. Check the spelling. Last but not least, we have the feathers. So there we go. Give it an orange color. Um, <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's fill it out. Give it a name. So this is pretty simple, but it can help your developer, for example. set this up a lot quicker as it's more explicit which flame which frames sorry are going to be playing so there we go let's just open up the lottie files plugin smart pigeon so nothing different there let's just upload it okay so let's see how you can play these different segments using the name markers and the Lottie files Lottie player. So I'm just gonna grab the URL to the animation and in our HTML, I'm going to declare a Lottie player and set its source to the URL of the animation. I'm also going to put autoplay and loop. So that'll start playing. And then in our JavaScript, I'm going to get, ah, so I'm gonna get it by its ID. So I need to give the Lottie player an ID. And exploding bird, there we go. So once we get the animation or the Lottie player, 
we're going to do animation dot add event listener and we're going to listen for the ready event and then once that fires we're going to declare another variable called animation data and we're going to call animation dot get lottie and once we get our lottie we're going to call go to and play and let's try out the bird segment pass true and let's have a look at that refresh the page and our bird segment is looping so that's great a little bit of confusion might happen because we're using go to and play and not the play segments method but the play segments method doesn't take in a string and go to and play is the method that manages named markers so we're going to use that and if i wanted the explosion let's just save that and refresh that's working fine and the feathers and there we go so that's how to set up name markers with your lottie animations thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one